Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, it's Elisa. So today I've got a little skincare routine video for you guys. Um, I always see people asking for some skincare routine videos, so I thought I would whip this up for you. Like I've said in previous videos, my skincare routine does change, kind of depending on the season. Um, if my skin's more dry, products might change, or if it's a little bit uh, warmer outside, I might use different things. So lately, this is just what I find myself using, and I just wanted to share with you guys what those products are. Also, before we get straight into the video, I do want to say a big thank you to Curology for sponsoring this video. Okay, so to begin, I want to talk a little bit about a face wash. So this is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I just find myself, again, gravitating towards this lately. So if you're, I'm not wearing a whole lot of makeup, this is a really good cleanser to take off most of what I am wearing. Now, if you are somebody that does wear a little bit more makeup, um, I would recommend going in with the Laura Mercier Conditioning Cleansing Oil. Oh my gosh, this is really, really fun. So they sent this to me in a PR package and I was super excited. Oh my gosh, I get super excited about any PR package, let's be honest. Um, so I was excited to try this out and you put this on your dry face. So you don't rinse your face, you let it be completely dry and then you just put this into the palm of your hand and then you just put it all over your face and it like literally melts off your makeup. So I'm wearing more makeup than I usually would. This is a really good product to kind of help melt most of the makeup off and then go back in with my face wash to really scrub off everything. It's just like an extra boost to make sure everything is off of my face. Okay, so now we're gonna be chatting about some Curology. So this is my cute little Curology bottle. This is the same formula that I've had for about three years now. And it just so happens to be that I've not needed to change the formula. But if you need to change your formula, you can obviously do that. So I like to pop this on after I've washed my face and then put like my moisturizer on. I just find that this works a lot better if I put my moisturizer on first and then I pop this on. So this is just kind of what it looks like. And then I'll just like pop this on literally on my face. I'll avoid my eye area, but then I'll just pop it on everywhere else. So if you are interested in Curology, they are a skincare brand um, that will hook you up with your own dermatology provider who will treat your skin, analyze your skin, give you professional advice, and also give you your own custom skincare bottle that has prescription grade ingredients. It has been certified by the Leaping Bunny, um, so you know that this is a vegan brand. Like I said, it has worked so well for me. You do have one-on-one -on -one messaging with your dermatology provider, so if something isn't working for you, you can go reach out to them and say, hey, this isn't working, and they'll go back and reformulate for you, like I said earlier in the video, which I love that, so you're not locked into something that just doesn't work for you. If you are interested, all you have to do is hop onto their website, you'll upload some pictures of your face without any makeup on, and then they're gonna walk you through like a skincare quiz just to kind of see what it is you're looking for, what you're trying to accomplish basically and once you have that done then they're going to get you started and ship out your own bottle to you your custom skincare bottle which again i love um you don't have to pick anything up they ship that out to you which is lovely uh curology does offer a 90 day money back guarantee so if you get your bottle you're not happy with it they do offer you a full refund so you're not locked into anything and also i do have a link down below in the description box that you can go check out um, they do offer the first bottle for free. You just have to pay the $4.95 shipping and handling. In my little bottle, I have niacinamide, clindamycin, and, ooh, I'm not gonna be able to say this last one, zinc pyrithione. I probably butchered that. I wanna do more preventative skincare um, or anti-aging. So I don't really have anything to correct yet, but I wanna prevent things from forming. But I do know that niacinamide is like one of the most researched anti-aging ingredients. So what causes aging skin has to do with those UV rays and those free radicals. Um, so when we go outside in the sun and we have too much sun exposure, those UV rays will break down proteins in our skin, which causes us to lose that skin structure and causes those fine lines and wrinkles. Um, and also if there's too much sun, again, that stimulates too much pigment, which causes those dark spots. Also, um, free radicals are unstable compounds and because they are missing an electron, they're gonna look to grab one from a different molecule of yours and that causes those fine lines as well. So we wanna make sure everything is nice and supple, everything is rebuilt the way that it needs to be and that niacinamide does just that. Okay, so moving on, next is my moisturizer. So this is the Pharmacy Honey Drop Lightweight Moisturizer. As you can see, it's literally almost out, but I've been really happy with this. I feel like I've shared this in another one of my videos, but I just I keep finding myself going to this. 
And sometimes I like to use two layers of this. Like I've said, my skin is kind of normal to dry. Like I find my skin is still nice and hydrated. It doesn't leave it feeling greasy. If you have even oily skin, you might like this, but this has worked for normal to dry skin as well. Okay, so next up, I've got my Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. Um, this is some really cool stuff. So when I went to get my lashes done, probably like, oh, it's been a long time since I got eyelash extensions, but my esthetician was telling me how you also need to take care of your neck and moisturize your neck because your neck is a part of your face. She's totally right. And so I thought, I don't really want to be wasting my face moisturizer for my neck because if I do that, I mean, I'm going to have to use like double the amount and I really don't want to do that if I don't have to. So I came up with a little bit of a mini solution and that is using my Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. So I just like to pop this bad boy all over my neck um, instead of my face because then you get to save your face moisturizer. So I'll just pop this all over and it feels oh, so nice. But the nice thing about this too is if you have really dry skin and you need some extra moisture, you could pop this on under your skin and then go back in with your moisturizer for that extra added layer of um, moisture. Sometimes I'll do that too, but lately I've just like to use this as a trick for my neck. Okay, so next up we've got a fun face mask. This is the Cold Plunge Pore Mask by Ulla Henriksen. And just so you know, a, just a little warning, it does have AHA in this, so that will increase your sensitivity to the sun. Make sure you're using a lot of sunscreen when you use this um, because it will make you more sensitive. So what they recommend is that you use this two to three times a week. I have been using this twice a week consistently, at least a month. I want to say it's been longer than I think it has, but it's been at least like a month and a half. And I've seen a difference in my skin texture. So um, even notice too, like when I put my makeup on, like my application goes on a whole lot smoother and I love that. So I've been super happy with this. Totally recommend this if you're not a face mask wearer or if you are, this has worked really well for me. And it's just, I feel like this has really smoothed out my skin texture. Please be careful with this. Don't slap this on like every single day like you normally would because it has an AHA in that. You don't want to do that. Alrighty guys, so this is all that I have for you today. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, but these are some products that I love to use that have really helped me and I hope they help you too. Obviously, if you have anything you want to see from me, feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section and I will see you guys later. Bye!